What is going on, everybody? It is Alan from Breaking and Entering, and we are here with the Writer's Room, with the first edition of the Writer's Room. Uh, I am joined, as always, by my co-host, the host of the Mr. Nice Guy podcast, as well as Breaking and Entering contributing writer, Ben Slowey. Ben, how are you doing? Uh, Thanks for having me again, Alan. I'm doing pretty good for, uh, for the moment. Uh, it's true. been quite a um, exhilarating week and weekend um, of everything going on, as you're very well aware. Yes. Um, there's been uh, a lot of Black Lives Matter protests this week that um, I have marched in, and I felt a little physically exhausted, so um, I've taken the last... Uh, two days to cool off a little bit before I go back out, but I, I think I needed that, uh, so I'm just definitely taking a day to you know, work yeah, uh, to work towards the cause uh, from inside, but I'm doing okay with that. How are you doing? Um, I am doing alright as well. Obviously, this show is coming out on Wednesday morning, as opposed to when we would normally do like a Tuesday night. Uh, because of the music industry blackout, and that's something that I really support. And I know, Ben, you've been, you know, out on the street, you know, marching and, and protesting as well. And I, I, I think that it's something that is super necessary. And I, as I put on Instagram earlier this week, that it just there's a lot of emotions going on right now. Um, I, I really honestly don't know. You know, there's anger, there's frustration uh it's there's not one thing that sort of like overpowers it all but i I, more than anything i just i cannot believe that this is something that i thought i would never have to deal with really in my life and by deal with i mean like something that would be addressed to this magnitude in 2020 um and i cannot believe that we as a society are at this point but as you said i mean you know taking the day to kind of reset and you know deal with the world is uh is totally necessary and i I think doing what we do and and putting out the music that we post and and you know the cultures that have embraced us um celebrating those cultures um celebrating people of all you know backgrounds is is nothing but the most important thing you know especially now yeah of course and um our, yeah, our friend and fellow writer Pat Carroll is actually out marching today. Yes, yes, so he is. Pat. Yeah, he's out as well. Um, I know a lot of Milwaukee artists are out as well. Shelley Berry, Jane Joyce, um, Webster X has been out. Lex Allen has been out. So yeah. these are these are not just. Daily Crossfire is out today as well. Yeah, these are not just people that you know are are protesting for the sake of protesting. These are people you know. These are people that we know and love. And uh, we wish nothing but support for them as well. Yeah, um, you know Matt Miller, right? Yes. Yes. Yeah, uh, I've Matt, uh, my my guy Matt Miller has been out every single day. I I think he's been out every single day, but he has been marching uh, relentlessly and holding up his sign with two arms. <laughs> he's been doing like a great job, and I'm really happy to call him a friend. Um, and yeah like you said i've seen people from like each day is you know it's there's some people that are you know just doing it like non-stop which is amazing right uh there's some people that you know i've seen day by day like but a lot of people are um in the music scene out uh fighting for what's right right now and it's yeah, like some of the people that we are very close to that we have really, really valuable and and special uh, relationships with um, in the music scene are really concerned for their safety right now, and you know, and they are fighting for their friends and their family and uh, people that they love, and you yeah. know, there's it's it's kind of like one of those things where we none like none of us should be being silent right now Um, right and i'm 
you know, and I'm seeing more and more of my friends speak out against police brutality, against systemic racism, against, you know, just the fact that, you know, the last couple nights, um, people have been peacefully protesting, not only in Milwaukee, but worldwide. I mean, this is happening all over the country. It's been happening abroad. Yeah. Um, I just saw it. there's a march going on in New Zealand today. So, like, that's just how far this of a magnitude like people are speaking out and standing up against racism but the fact that people are peacefully protesting and like how militarized a response the police uh are are bringing against these people that are just trying to do what's right like right it is it's scary man like i like you said there's been a mix of emotions and uh, I think that that's a really great way to put it because I have felt in the last four days, I mean, and this is us speaking as white men. Like, right. Yeah. We are scared, we're angry, we're upset, and we, or we feel hopeless. We might yeah. even feel that joy that comes with the community showing up and the happiness that comes with the fact that Milwaukee is making a presence out there, that people are you know, standing up, um, fighting the power, like, you might feel that joy and that optimism, and we also, but we also feel immense dread and anxiety, and that's definitely what I've been feeling, um, because, I mean, the, I feel like the protests right now are just one piece of everything that's happening right now, I mean, I don't know if you've been seeing stuff that's been coming out about trump or if you've been seeing like yeah yeah i've seen uh headlines and had the morning news yeah. on and more than i've more than i usually like to have the morning news on um yeah but yeah i i i think that you know it's a we we've been saying this phrase uncertain times because of the coronavirus and things like that but now things really feel even more uncertain and um we're taking it day by day But um, I think this is a good point to jump into our first video for the week. Uh, This is, uh, it's a new video from Reggie Bonds. Uh, The video is called Love. And God, don't we need some love at this point. Seriously. So uh, let's get into that video real quick. On the writer's room. Uh, Mike, check my shit. Yeah. Uh, What Busta Rhymes say? Yeah. Turn me up, son. Tim Dessa. Can I kick my story to y'all, my glory to God, my faith and my flow? I pray that I go where no other rapper has. And when you rap it as vivid as I, your limit is the sky. Remember, no features, no meat, there's no cause. Northside, Del Crib, we hustle hard. Mapping the plan out, thinking how I'ma stand out. 16, I seen the killing, shit, I'm a man now. All my homies shooting, I'm thinking the execution. Really perfecting music, right until it's congruent. Steer me wrong if I lose it, spare the devil amusement. I was pulling them toolies, fighting through the confusion, then it's special day. I met a woman that would lead the way. Told me I possess the traits to be amongst the greats Take the time, seek passion and lower lies Cause a man who want it gon' give his reasons why Love, 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 love Y'all got a love, lot of it Love, 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 Love. Yeah. Yeah. I spit that Wonder Rhymer shit Me and my conglomerate Shall remain as obvious Jay said it That line it hit It's my time No wristwatch This ziplock Flow ugly as Chris Rock Giving niggas this hip hop I love it all Something about a sample though Hit my soul and it travel Ho Cobain spoke with a passion Whoa Quote unquote Respect and love is original Music for men is spiritual White people should never I, Not my words Just read it surfing on Billboard Looking at rappers How the fuck you got a deal boy My love deep Writing while I'm asleep, my ancestors would meet, go hard, but keep it sweet, be humble. Uh, quite modest in the spirit, but ego still needed. Just know the time to appear, and I'm apple, so when I paired, the fruits of labor's delightful. Yeah, this shooting free throws with my eyes closed. I don't miss even with my eyes closed. Spread love, verbal assassination Respect all the goats, but dream of taking they places oh. This raw backwards, worth of my nigga's soul This time I'm bearing my soul, constraining relative modes Listen, pick any venue, we outside, they mouth wide 
Every bar is like white chalk, get outlined. Speak for that kid who hope gone, his grams die. The next option of bad grams and sell dimes. Cause if she leave the love vacant, it's heart racing. Pop twos and he's with Angie because his mind pacing. Prolific penning like Odyssey. He was bound to see cut the news what they hate to see. Right in truth, I can't miss a beat. Beat, 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 train moving, my love brewing. I'm from a city where hope missing and dash truant. They still enslaving us, constitution degrading us. They itchy bond is the dollar sign. So the love is tough. So the love is tough. They itchy bond is the dollar sign. So the love is tough. All right, that was Love by Reggie Bonds on the writer's room. And uh, uh, just a, a song that feels needed at this point. Um, but let's let's move temporarily on to some a little bit lighter stuff. Um, ben, I know it's been a crazy couple days that we really haven't written a ton. Um, myself personally, at least. You've been holding down the fort you did yesterday for us. Um, but I, what... Is some of the stuff that you've been you've been listening to lately? Yeah. Um, so yeah, like you said, um, I haven't had a ton of time uh, to be listening to much music. Um, just being out and about, and um, you know, just trying to properly educate myself on the best courses of action. But I have uh, definitely been, um, you know, pop. Uh, cranking out uh, the releases uh, definitely toward the end of last week uh, we had a lot of stuff to publish but um, yeah there's been a lot of um, I mean, there's been a lot of local hip hop that's been you yeah. know, definitely like uh, at the forefront of what has been what we've been covering uh, yeah um, definitely um, yeah uh, a lot of yeah a lot of hip hop's been coming out um or just, um, I've been, uh, just kind of, um, you know, continuing to, uh, listen to, um, 2000s electronic music, you know, okay. that was kind of where I left off on my own personal agenda, but, right. um, yeah, so, uh, yeah, I was, I've been listening to, um, a lot of techno and deep house, sure. and, uh, that actually kind of got inspired by, some of the local releases that we've found. So I know I mentioned yeah. that we've been finding, uh, we've been publishing a lot of hip hop, but we've also been publishing a lot of uh, EDM stuff. Um, yeah. A lot of deep house, a lot of, um, you know, ba like bass music. So um, that's definitely kind of been um, getting me, it, it gets me in the mood for like celebration. Right. And I think that it's a good time not not pertaining to the political climate but like weather wise yes it's that yeah. it's that beginning of summer i knew where you're coming from on it yeah yeah yeah, yeah. where it's like different. yeah you yeah. just kind of feel like dare i say it relaxed it doesn't feel right to say that either but uh, but weather wise you know things get warmer we start listening to different music um yeah. i have been on a little bit of like a like kind of reggae dance hall kick just a little bit like um, part of that is definitely like when I, when I bought my house, there's a deck on the back and there's a grill that just leads itself to like listening to, you know, something a little more lighter and relaxing. Um, so a little bit of a reggae dance hall kick. I've also been, uh, preparing for some DJ stuff that we might be doing soon that I might be doing personally. Um, some DJ streams and stuff like that. So I've been listening to like a lot of like funk and like, like soulful disco which is literally the name of the playlist on spotify um a lot of examining like samples and like uh you know a lot of hip-hop stuff that like is, is classic samples that we all know um but like going back to like the songs that they were made up from so you know take like a tribe called quest's award tour and you can bring that back to find the little elements of it i actually downloaded an app called who sampled 
which uh, will help you, like, if there's, like, a hip-hop song and you know that there's a sample of it somewhere, and even stuff you didn't know, then you can search and see what uh, what songs it takes bits and pieces of. So, like, Sugar Hill Gang's Rapper's Delight, for example, takes a piece of uh, the... Oh, my God, I'm trying to think of the name of the song. I'm blanking completely. Uh, um, Hard Times? Yeah, Good Times? Good Times. Uh, uh, sample. Anyway, so it takes part of that beat, and it shows you, and you can compare the two songs back and forth, which is something that... Uh, for you know for me for djing and stuff like that definitely helpful because um we're gonna try and do something pretty cool i think we're gonna do a live stream from the backyard uh if if not tonight wednesday night when you're seeing this or uh it'll probably be the wednesday after that but we're gonna try and do it and do like a live stream of me djing uh from the bar we'll see what happens i don't know but that's kind of what i've been listening to is a little bit of you know a little bit more upbeat stuff more summery kind of stuff yeah yeah, I'd say that, like, um, you know, it's I, I, it's definitely that, like, that time of year to where you, we definitely get more urge to move and v- groove and vibe out, yeah. too. Like, I've definitely been in the mood to dance more, so. Yeah. Um, so I've definitely been, like, um, yeah, like, I, I feel like you and I are in kind of, like, a similar, like, <laughs> level of what um what we're uh taking yeah sonic inspiration from and um and I'm, i mean i'm sure after all these protests and after you know hopefully uh victories in the fight for what is right people will want to be celebrating and they yeah. will want to be Yo, yeah, and we'll and we're to... losing, you know, we're losing all of the summer festivals and things like that. But I think once, you know, these cha- hopeful changes come about, and that being combined with being cooped up for so long that now, you know, people are finally starting to get back outside. I think once we do have summer and once we are able to congregate in some sort of sense, maybe not in the, you know, fifty thousand people at Summerfest level, but the like hundred people in a club level i think that it's going to be time to just let loose a little bit and just have some fun and just party you know yeah, ex- it, I, exactly it will be and um i know a lot of people are eager to do that yeah and i'd be lying if i'd say like oh i can't wait to be able to like you know dance yeah. around and party with a bunch of my friends but you know i think that like especially because like this past week with all the marches and protests has been the unfortunate circumstance where many of us are seeing each other for the first time right in months because of the pandemic and, yeah um and it's like that's a really serious context to be seeing somebody like right. you want to be like oh hey how are you doing like what's going on but at the same time it's like you know we're out here chanting we're out here fighting for justice and like you know this is like a time to be you know, many people are angry, many people are upset, and people are just, you know, they want to be firm in their demands, so, yeah, that, and, so it's like, you know, that being the time we're seeing a lot of our friends out there in the, in the crowds, in the marches, um, potentially against, um, you know, hostile police encounters, yeah, like, not exactly the circumstances that you want to reacquaint yourself with right. somebody. Yeah. But once, once, like, you know, hopefully in weeks, months, however long it takes, like, um, it will be, it, I feel like celebrating uh, will, uh, as they say, hit different. Yeah. When <laughs> it's over and it, we're able to safely congregate in small groups again, we can start. Yeah. Know, I think that first night back at, you know, let's say Cactus Club or any venue that, um, that is open and has a DJ going, uh, or spinning something, I think that first night is going to feel like just a, a massive weight has been left off of your shoulders. And like, yes, there will still be issues. I, I'm not saying that that's not the case, but given the last you know four or five months of our lives it feels like maybe four months um it just feels like heavy thing on top of heavy thing and now 
at some point there's just going to be a release and yeah. and i can't wait for that moment you know dude i've been lately my way of describing 2020 is a fever dream <laughs> uh, yeah 2020 is a fever dream like i dude i was on a walk earlier today and i'm like i can't believe this year has fucking happened yeah <laughs> like that we're I, we're halfway through it only and yeah. this is the insanity that yeah yeah um yeah we're good getting into june now which i mean honestly thank god because i love summer so much same and, um and i'm happy that at least we've gotten the you know dreaded yeah behind us but but yeah uh the fight is long from over and people also can't forget you know safety measures and precautions i mean most people at these marches like i'd say 98 percent are wearing masks okay but but, um but yeah uh, i encourage people that are out there like it's good as emotional as as a time it is kind of what we're talking about right now where it's like we're on this vibe of like you know wanting to listen to happy feel good music like funk reggae right house music techno whatever it is that makes you happy uh that's good music to unwind to when yes you've spent a whole day facing being face to face with systemic injustice yes and i think as as important as everything is there should be i mean there's going to need to be some personal time to yeah. counterbalance the amount of heaviness and negativity that's required right now. Yeah. So, yes, I, I agree with that. Uh, speaking of that, we should get into a new video that is very lighthearted and is, uh, you know, kind of in a in a different realm from the stuff that's been going on that we've been talking about. Uh, it's a new video from Fuzzy Surf, and I love every time these guys put out a video because they do something so creative and different and i I really really appreciate all the visuals that they put in and the effort that they put in um so this is their new single i don't dream anymore and the animation i i swear to god looks like it's like a maurice sendak like like little bear kind of like children's book but uh there's monsters and they're stuck in a cubicle and i won't ruin any more of it so let's get into uh the new video from fuzzy surf on the writer's room
All right, that was the new video from Fuzzy Surf. I don't dream anymore. Uh, love the animation, like I said on that. Love that they're always doing something so different. And uh, we've seen them as puppets. We've seen them launch, uh, you know, confetti and streamers into their performances. Uh, and now we've seen it's them as animated of, beasts. It's a lot of childhood nostalgia. Yeah. That's a good way of putting it. Yeah, I, I really like that uh, that is something that they bring in. It's like an element of fun. I feel like I'm watching like an episode of like Sesame Street, and maybe that's just because the first video I saw from them was Denny, which is the video with the puppets and everything like that. But they look like they could like appear in an episode of Sesame Street, like the way celebrities used to do, and just kind of like hang out, and they would fit right in right now, you know? So. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. I'm a sucker for childlike nostalgia too. And <laughs> I mean, I think it's important for us as adults to revisit some of that. Like, oh, yeah. We enjoyed as kids, even though they might be for not children, obviously. But it's important for us to look back at that and be like, hey, I like this meant a lot to me, or this stuck with me, or I just like you know i absorbed so much of this aesthetic or these stories when right. i was little and they looking back at them now like they mean something different that can still be really special oh um, yeah definitely i mean i'm a like i'm a lifelong spongebob fan um yeah. i've been watching spongebob since i was like three four years old uh and I loved it back then, you know, it was, it, I... Yeah, I will me... say, I I don't remember, like, very important things in my life and huge memories. I know every word to the Ripped Pants song. Uh, you know what I mean? Like, uh, same as, like, Rocket Power was big for me as a kid. I can tell yeah. you everything from every episode of Rocket Power. Love but, Rocket Power. You know, but, uh, yeah. yeah. And now if you watch those shows as an adult, like you find it things about the show you didn't pick up on as a kid like you oh definitely a, things only mature audiences would understand and and i tell you there's a lot of that in spongebob yeah um, oh definitely spongebob um like pixar movies are really good for that for some reason like yeah. there's always like that one joke that like the parents get and you don't get yeah and uh going back and watching them now i'm like oh man like we have disney plus so i'm just like hey wait that joke kind of hits a little different now now that you know what it means kind of thing oh yeah yeah so. uh yeah and like you also have i've noticed that like when you watch like old movies that like you loved as a kid the ones you had on vhs like uh for me a big one is toy story yep. you know with same obsessed with toy story and the second one too and like, I didn't realize how much, like, Sid's, like, you know, deformed toys, like, messed me up as a kid. <laughs> like, oh, was, yeah, yeah, yeah. There is like, stuff. The, image, the imagery of Sid's toys and, like, how, like, it's basically, like, a slaughterhouse. Yeah. Um, for toys. Like, how much that scared me as a kid. <laughs> and, it, like, stuck and, like, stuck with me. And you watch it now and you're like oh, man, this is dark for a kid oh yeah totally there were there were all sorts of things like uh there was a movie called the page master which oh, uh yeah. which like the trailer for it scared me as a kid and i have no idea why but i mean we, that's a we can get into that another day uh <laughs> the page master yeah real quickly uh we are gonna get into our first live performance live ish performance uh, it's from a band called Tacoma Washington Weekday Club. I get to do the, uh, I get to do the late night host thing right now and say that their album, And Now You're Almost Awake, and Now You're Almost Living, I almost nailed the title, is, uh, is coming out soon. And if you look inside the liner notes here, which I did not prepare to take out of the CD case, but, uh, I believe there's a mention of, uh, Mr. Ben Slowey here in the liner notes in the uh in the thank you section of uh the record so that record actually comes out i believe this friday 
So make sure you do you check that out. And we are going to get into a live performance, live taped performance of uh, of Last Rites. So this is Tacoma Washington Weekday Club on the Writers Room. This is Last Rites. performance from Tacoma Washington Weekday Club. Uh, make sure you get the album, and now you're almost living. It is uh, it is out Friday. You can stream it everywhere, or you can get the physical copy like I have here. And uh, make sure you check out Ben's little shout out in the uh, in the liner notes. That's pretty cool. That is really cool. Uh, shout out to those boys for mentioning me. Uh, really love Tacoma Washington Weekday Club. One of the best bands in Milwaukee, if you ask me. Um, 
yeah, yeah, they're they're they put on killer shows and they've expanded to six members now or something. Yeah. Like that. So yeah, they are fully, uh, you know, becoming a uh, a balloon of their orchestration in a good way. Yeah, definitely, and uh, as we can see in the video, there a ton of emotion that goes into every performance. Uh, I believe that was Noah that was screaming his lungs out at the end there. Um, so just something, something totally, you know, insane from those guys every time you get to see them. Um, so with that, we are going to start getting rolling out here. Uh, ben, I know, you know, times are tough. Uh, any, any words of advice, any words of wisdom as we, as we head into another week? Um, well, uh, the big thing right now, uh, that has been on my mind today has been, uh, get involved uh, yeah you know support support the the black lives matter uh cause um i mean it's it's an uncomfortable conversation to have with some people that have to step uh step under their or step away i should say from their privilege to like be able to like empathize empathize with um because i mean a lot of us white people you know we we wear a cloak of that privilege and it makes us feel like you know we can't speak on certain issues or get involved um in speaking out against injustices but now like that that all has to be thrown out the window and people really gotta get involved in the fight because it's literally it's literally like a fight of good versus evil right now. Yeah. Uh, so, um, yeah, I mean, and what, that means something different to everybody. You know, not everyone's meant to be protesting right there. Some people are still worried about the pandemic, and that's understandable. So, I mean, yeah, show up to marches or um, donate to various freedom funds or organizations that support black liberation. Um yeah. You know, support. Uh, it's also Pride Month, so especially yeah. supporting people that are um, in the LGBTQ plus community that are also black. Uh, right. Big, very important time right now to like you know be um, providing space and visibility for uh, folks of that nature and. Um, yeah. Yeah, I I just say right now just you know use your platform to speak up and uh, um, yeah and get involved so yeah definitely and i i would echo that as well um i i would say that it is okay to feel miseducated right now or to feel like you know less than um than you do right now or than you should uh, but that being said there should be an emphasis on make the effort to learn the history of of this you know situation and it's not just one person it's not just a string of people in the last few years like there's so much history of this going on in the world namely uh, you know years. yes yeah so i mean i would say as as somebody that admittedly is not the most up on some of these things i i would like to make the effort to learn more about the history of things that weren't frankly weren't taught to us in school or if they were they were kind of sugar-coated you know so um i would say that in addition to being able to contribute being able to be there um whether you're protesting or not whether you're donating or not you should be doing something right now um and if you're not doing any of that you should be educating yourself you know yeah so yeah. with that said, uh, it, it feels weird to transition into this, but you can check us out every day at, uh, at breakingandentering.net. Uh, you can find us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat, and all of that. But more importantly, we want you to go out and make a difference in your community and be a part of what is going on right now and make sure that you're on the side of history that is ultimately going to hopefully take things into a, a completely new era um that this something like this 
doesn't have to happen again, at least not to this level. So, yep. with that, I, I I hope that you know that the world can heal a little bit, and um, we hope that you know we don't have to come in and talk about this next time on the writers' room because this is a hell of a way to start the first episode uh, under the new moniker. But with that, we thank you for taking the time to watch our show. And, you know, even if it put a smile on your face for 30 seconds, great. That's, that's all we could ask for. So let's go out there and try to do better from here on, just in general, be better from, from now on out. Uh, for Ben Slowey, I'm Alan Hallis. Thank you guys for watching, and we will see you next week on the writer's room.